This video is about the Gauss Bonnet theorem and the defect angle theorem for polyhedra. In particular, we want to show that the defect angle theorem is no more than the discrete version of the theorem from Gauss. The Gauss Bonnet theorem is a remarkable theorem that links the curvature of a surface with its underlying topology. Given a manifold M, we define the total curvature KT of M to be the integral of the Gauss curvature over the surface. In this video, we are interested in the version of the Gauss Bonnet theorem for compact two dimensional manifolds without boundaries. The Gauss Bonnet theorem states that given a compact two dimensional manifold without boundaries and with Euler characteristic chi, its total curvature is equal to 2 pi chi. The defect angle formula for polyhedra was stated much before the Gauss Bonnet theorem, but it is the discrete equivalent of it. Given a vertex vi of a polyhedra, we define the defect angle theta i at the vertex vi to be 2 pi minus the sum of the angles of the faces of the polyhedra at the vertex vi. The defect angle theorem states that, given a polyhedral surfaces with Euler characteristic chi, the sum of the defect angles at all vertices is equal to 2 pi chi. Now we want to show that the two theorems are eventually the same thing. The easiest way to do that is to parallel transport a vector along a loop around the vertex v. When the vector gets back to its original position it will be rotated by an angle theta, equal to the defect angle of the vertex. We know from differential geometry that the angle of rotation of a vector parallel transported around a loop is equal to the total curvature of the surfaces enclosed in the loop, kt. We also know that the Gaussian curvature on the faces and edges of the vertex vanishes. This is because there is always a direction on which a curve on the surface has vanishing curvature. The only curvature on the surface must be in the vertex and it is infinite. The curvature on the surface is zero everywhere apart from the vertex where is infinite and its integral infinite. We conclude that the curvature on the surface is a Dirac delta function, centered on the vertex and having amplitude equal to the total curvature of the surface. This curvature in turn is equal to the defect angle. As always happens in maths and physics, when we go from a density distribution in space of a given physical quantity to a discrete distribution, we have to go from smooth functions to Dirac delta functions. Thanks for watching.